Hello, boys and girls. It's Auntie Mimi here. Today's story is from Disney. It's about Minnie Mouse and it's called Minnie's New Bonnet. So sit back, get comfortable and let's begin. It was a perfect spring day and Minnie Mouse was spending it in a perfect way. She was making a new bonnet. Not bad, Minnie said, admiring her new bonnet in the mirror. But it's not what I had in mind. Suddenly, a gust of wind snatched up the balloons and Minnie's beautiful new bonnet sat high into the sky. Minnie quickly jumped into Mickey's car and fastened her seatbelt. Follow that hat, she cried. Mickey and Minnie drove through town, keeping their eyes on the floating bonnet. Minnie held her breath every time it drifted near telephone poles and chimneys. Luckily, it missed them. Mickey and Minnie followed the bonnet as the wind carried it further and further away. Soon they reached a farm. Mickey spotted a rope hanging from a fence post. Mickey grabbed the rope and tied it into a lasso. One, two, three times he tossed the lasso into the air. Each time the bonnet was just out of his reach. The hat zigged and zagged over the farm until the yellow balloon caught on a weather vane on top of the barn. Pop! Oh dear, cried Minnie as she watched the bonnet drop. Right onto the branches of a tall tree. We've got it now, Minnie cried. Help me with this ladder, Mickey. While Mickey held on to the ladder, Minnie carefully climbed up and found a robin redbreast sitting in her hat. Hey, that's not a nest, Minnie said to the bird. Shoo! However, the robin was quite comfortable and would not budge. Suddenly, the robin was joined by another robin. Oh, I see, Minnie said, admiring the happy couple. She tried to be very quiet as she climbed down the ladder. That bonnet has been nothing but trouble, sighed Mickey. But the day did have a happy ending, giggled Minnie. Well, that was a fun little book, wasn't it? In the end, the two little birds snuggled up there and had a little sleep in her hat, didn't they? I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did, boys and girls. And as always, be kind to one another, look after one another and try and be happy every single day. Until next time, bye-bye.